Get out the dwarven torture equipment, Gumi. Let the investigation begin. Eldritch, you monster. So. <sighs> yes, but no. There is a loophole that I have allowed to exist on the first couple of streams. Though I'm starting to suspect that people have realized the loophole, so I might have to shut down the loophole. Technically speaking, rules read as written, because even I occasionally follow my rules as written if someone exploits them for having attentiveness, but I think it's spreading. So I, that's why I'm gonna address this and probably close down the loophole. The idea is, is that maybe every hour or so in the first stream, first couple of streams of a base, I wait a little bit and I read off one or two or I read off one or two when someone does one. Because at the beginning, there's seven doors that get dwarfed. And then as soon as migrate, uh, migrations, as soon as migrants come in, people get new dwarves. However, technically, if you do a request for who was I again, because you're putting in points, that jumps you to the top of the list and I'll read you right then and there. But there have now been, I'm not calling out your names, but you know who you are if you're still here. There have been three, maybe four people this stream who have dwarfed and immediately requested who was I again, just so that they would jump to the top of the list and I'd read their description immediately. However, the reason why I'm thinking I might not allow that going into the future is the reason why I'm not reading the names altogether is to create gameplay or conversation between me reading the names because the descriptions are rather dry. So it's creating a situation where some of you have recognized a hole in the rules and instead of just being nice with them or just blatantly using them to force me to read names back to back and thus defeat the purpose of me not reading the names back to back. So yes, if you want me to read your name now, you can try to do some of the channel points to do so because I've been going in order as well as I can with one or two at a time. And if it shows up in a request, I tend to honor the requests. However, this is clearly not the way that was intended. So there's that. Uh, Hellfire Skyrim wanted to be in the military. Ah, uh, someone who was an archer died. Hellfire Skyrim, you were in the military. Apparently you, you would order that twice. I'm guessing one was from your old character. And I don't know if I ever put him in, so I'm just gonna refund that one to you for freebies. I just wanna make sure I'm here for the descriptions. Well, I've done yours, haven't I? Who are we on now anyways? Now that we are bringing this up. We did the top one, Dragon and Phineas. Did we do Tappa Yoke? I think we were going to be doing we either did him or we were going to be doing him, which means I should be in this group now. I'll do Tappa Yoke, and then I'll f follow him up with Kane the Flump. Tappa Yoke has an extended family. Really extended. But none of them are people we know or care about. Tappa Yoke has one friend in this world, and that's Varumamo. Unfortunately, as I can hit the letter Z and not go to him, that's right, he's dead. Tapioca has no friends in the world. The only friend Tapioca has ever had is now dead. <laughs> Tapioca prays to Rakas, who takes the form of a male dwarf associated with trade and wealth. Daton, a female dwarf associated with metals, minerals, and jewels. Uker, Lecomdurist, a male dwarf associated with birth, thunder, and rain. Tosid, Ninurifot, a female dwarf associated with sacrifice and fortresses. A Voom, a female dwarf associated with sky and the wind. Akmesh, a male dwarf associated with revenge. And Sined, a male dwarf associated with muck and peace. Toppy Oak recently thought, I got caught in miasma. It a miasma. So disgusting. Because she was disgusted at the retching on miasma. Toppy Oak is mighty and very slow to tire. Toppy Oak likes tetrahedrite. The clear zircon. The clear. Oh, no. Hold on. Tetrahedrite, 10 clear zircon. I knew I was reading it wrong. Breastplates, backpacks, giant peregrine falcons for their ability to dive through the air, the words of the aquamarine gorge, the sound of the trumpet of drumming, and the sight of the lacy meadow of trotting. When possible, she prefers to consume giant kakapo, parsnip plants, sewer brew, and finger malay flower. 
She absolutely detests blood gnats. She has a great intuition, a lot of willpower, but she has a meager ability with social relationships, poor empathy, very bad analytical abilities, quite poor focus, and poor creativity. Though she dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. Poor creativity, masterwork someday. G good luck. Good luck with that, I say. After tapioca would be Kane the Flumpf. Kane the Flumpf. Kane the Flump has an extended family where Veru Mamo was their father. <laughs> Hopefully no one gets negative thoughts. Formal Blizzard is their aunt. Holy shit, this is a large family. And Eldritch is a cousin. You have a pet ram that I'm trying to shear. And your friends are Magna Dracomon, Hellfire Skyrim, who is now dead, as is Magna Dracomon, Eldritch, Stephen Robert Four, Righteous Boner, Dominate, and Tachulu. Everyone else is a passing acquaintance or worse, and you pray to this list of gods. Yep, that list of gods. I keep reading the same six or five names. I'm going to stop reading them. Kane the Flump recently thought, I played my friend Flimsiness at the Sweetness of Anvils. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Kane the Flump is slow to tire, but is quite susceptible to disease. Kane the Flump likes tin glaze, bronze, lapis lazuli, raccoon tooth, rope reed paper, the color pumpkin. Ballista parts, cavies for their adorable call, giant king cobras for their charming hood, the words of the lavender velvet and the sight of the flowery couple. Could possibly prefer to consume salmon and rye beer and absolutely detest brown recluse spiders. He has an amazing spatial sense and a good kinesthetic sense, but he has an iffy memory, poor focus, and a shortage of patience. He dreams of raising a family someday. Everyone's retching on miasma because their friends are dead around them. All right, are these open? Yes, mostly. Can we stop killing people though? That'd probably be, be the best. How do I still not have these tables? Did I or did I not order tables? Apparently no. I thought, or, oh, chairs. That's what these are. Why are we not making the wooden chairs? Do we not have a carpenter? Did our carpenter die? Is he the one with the... The carpenter has the mood at the carpentry shop. No shit. No wonder we're not getting anything done. All right, so Dictator Bob's gonna go crazy. We need a new elf leader. Did we make any progress on that yarn? Does anyone know? We don't have a farmer with animal processing. So let's find our secondary farmer to process our animals. I forget who, what job that is. I just make you a farmer. Let's say I made Hellfire Skyrim's new character a farmer. Did I turn on the secondary skill? I know there's a secondary skill that goes with this. Why do I not remember what it is? Miller, Presser. There's like farmer and then there's Butcher, Tanner, Leather, Fish, 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 Fern, Jim, Glass, Shear, Spin, Shearer. I guess I'm gonna go with this. Still not the job I think I was looking for, but I'll go Shearer. A Shearer. And I'll make him be a spinner too. There you go, he'll get it done. My cousin is a dog killer, still can't request statues, weird champ. Um. Yeah, new. I probably should have, I'll give you that. We do have access to stone, but I clearly have not been able to... <laughs> you guys go ham on the statues. I, I haven't increased the price of the statues. If I, if I activate statues, I'll get five requests for statues, and they're all gonna be the most complicated nonsense. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I st still haven't even technically set up everyone's low tier suites. Yo, on the last bit of my nine hour shift. Hey, Shadowmark returns. Oh, more migrants. Can't we pass a law? More migrants. I have friends. Uh, oh God, what did I miss? I was gone for like 10 minutes. Tell them to do it now. Base just isn't allowed to have nice things. Okay, I'm still alive. What happened? 
you are in fact still alive. Um, Dr. Phineas keeps getting drunk and killing everyone. Dr. Phineas isn't even that stressed. Dr. Phineas just really loves that roundhouse punch kick combo. Oh God, there's a petition. The Guild of Larks has many members in Tongs Bitten and now requires a guild hall, which must be built and furnished with a hall designated for a farmer's guild. If I remember correctly, this shit's slightly annoying, but farmer's guild might improve certain things. Yeah, I suppose. I'll do a farmer's guild to whatever the hell. I'm not happy about it, though. All right. You want a farmer's guild. I want to not have to deal with you. This is already supposed to be in the future a, so a socializing area. So I will build an area off of this with which you can socialize. There you go. This honking thing is going to be the farmer's guild. Fuck it. So here, no, here's the problem. If, if I could do that, I would. I've got to find some way to change Twitch. Twitch's system right now is I can either, I can either not have a limitation or I can do what I do with push-ups. And it's either I can limit you to a grand total per stream as in everyone together or there's no limit at all i can't limit per hour and i can't limit per person some of my other things i could limit per person to a timeline like if it was a script on my bot i can limit an individual person to using a script say once every two hours that i can do but twitch's system does not currently allow me to do that all i get to do is say no restrictions or this can be ordered seven times in, a, in, a, in one single stream, which makes it weird. I would rather have the push-ups be limited to say three an hour, which would actually end up with a bigger total in the long run than what I have right now. However, if I do, th if I do that limit for eight hours, that would be a limit per stream of 24, which maybe isn't that bad, for this stream, but I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays for like four to five hours, maybe even shorter if some technical issues happen or something. So then randomly I've got like an hour to crank out like 640 push-ups. <laughs> so it becomes just like, what the shit? So that's why by default I turn them off if I don't feel like I can handle the surge. Someone shoplifted a pregnancy test. We found the empty carton. Look, that, that that's like a, that's like you, you pray for Jesus for this child. If they don't have the money for a pregger test and they're preggers, they're not gonna have money after the kid's born either. This is exactly why I make you do push-ups. Yeah, like, I like the idea, and I like what I've been doing so far. I'm hoping that they'll switch that, or there'll be an update, or they're like, okay, we'll limit this to per hour or something, or we'll give you more options. They just rolled it out. And I feel like right whenever they roll out a new thing, they get slammed with so many sh with so many different things that they never pay attention to anything. So I'm both, I'm being lazy. I'm, I'm, I'm being lazy doing the group mentality thing. Well, someone else will handle that. I cannot be the only one to have had this thought and I'm not going to go track down whatever I need to do to go add my my two pence to the idea. Dictator Bob is dehydrated. Why is Dictator Bob dehydrated? Is he injured? Did he get so injured he can't drink booze now? We have water. someone want to give dictator bob a job maybe booze is he crazy because he's got like all kinds of negatives yeah he got depressed was he the one with the mood oh we didn't save him in time for the mood oh well dictator bob's crazy now 
which means we knew what we need a new elf hater which would be eldritch you are our new elf hater praise be the wooden ones no we're not out of drinks i have that we are out of drinks how are we out of drinks you're fucking automated did the manager die oh shit someone killed the manager Oh shit, son. All right, um. Righteous Boner, you're the new manager. We lost the bookkeeper too. Fuck it, we'll double tap on that. It's Righteous Boner. Yeah, no one's gonna give him booze. He, he's just sad, he refuses to drink. We, we didn't complete his mood in time, so now he's just crazy. Righteous Boner does all the things where we get to know how to do the thing. Tell me how much booze to make. Everyone knows you should listen to a Righteous Boner when it tells you how much booze to drink. Nothing sketchy about that at all. I need to get the gyms out of here. If I dig you out now to the left. Let's say I do a seven by seven. That should be big enough for jewelers. Everything's going well. Nothing wrong here. Stop him digging too far. <sighs> Yay. All our dwarves are dead. All of our dwarves are dead. Yippee skippy doopy day. All our dwarves are dead. Because we've got a dead fucking dwarf. Because he likes to drink the alcohol and the booze. Those are really the same thing, but it doesn't matter to Dictator Bob. All right, um, PF, let's create new stockpiles down here. If I create it in the middle, I think this will work. One, what just happened? Two, food. I want this one to just be drinks. Prepared food. I don't think I have a kitchen right now, do I? I do have a kitchen. Pause. Has the kitchen been kitchening? It's probably been trying. We do have a kitchen. So this food down here on the left will just be prepared food. By the way, did I turn out prepared food? I did. You will be prepared food. That is what you will allow. I can start turning off the thing upstairs. If I do this like so, and then I do the X, and I take out you. And I think that's how that works. Yep, that is how that works. I can now assign you as a meeting area assigned to the sweetness of Andals. I will go upstairs. This area is now no longer the sweetness of Andals. Stop, remove this zone. PX, remove all of this, including the chest. Which, by the way, is a separate thing. I need to order... How many dwarves do we have? 49 dwarves. We don't have enough mugs for 49 dwarves. We only have 30 mugs. I need 21 because it's divided by 3, so I need 7. JMQ wood mug. Wood cup. Give me 7 wood cups. And I think I already dismantled the chest. Yep, so that can get installed down below. And this room can start getting uninstalled from everyone. Because you are all supposed to be going downstairs. Which means... But, right as I do this now, we've gone over the 21, haven't we? Because we've now hit 49. It's taken longer 
to get the room set up for the first 21 than it has been to just do the thing. So we're not gonna do these as individual tables. We're just gonna do it as a fucking tavern. Fuck it. The idea of forcing them to have a dining room. I got to work for the original seven. Once we started getting dwarves, it took way too long and I couldn't even get it to expand to 21 in time before I got more dwarves. Death to trees. For this fort, I have a KB farm. I saw at least one KB in the news feed at the bottom of the screen. If we have enough KBs, KBs, yes. I see no reason not have KBs. However, comma, we might not have enough right now with which to establish a KB farm. I think someone brought in a pet KB. I think that's what we have. Earlier this week, my brother saw a copy bar in Kansas while working. I'm sad I missed it. So, that reminds me. <laughs> my neighbors. Not the neighbor above me. She, 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 she's a sweetheart. There's a uh, neighbor over there, though. A little bit panicky. Outside my window, and we've brought the camera over and you've seen it yourself, there are trees. I kind of have to live on like a not forest forest. I think there's actually a marsh down there somewhere. That's why I always have issues right after it rains. Um, there's a, there's a marsh down there. And, there. and occasionally with the window open when I'm doing editing work and shit, you just, uh, there's a, there's a young buck that started walking by. He's got a couple of antlers. I haven't counted them or anything. There, there, there's a buck that comes by. Eh, he's okay. And then uh, the other day though, I was sitting on the porch in the morning, just getting sun basically, fresh air and all that good jazz. And I hear my upstairs neighbor talking and she, she's got pet dogs. And I routinely, uh, I call her dogs, puppy dog, puppy dog. And that's what she calls me. It's the puppy dog, puppy dog. <laughs> Weird, but whatever. Um, so I've, I, I go out there and, you know, I look up puppy dog, puppy dog. This is a cute little excitable, tiny dog. But, you know, whatever. But I go out there, basically saying hi to the neighbor and the neighbor over there who's up, she doesn't lose her mind, but she panics. She goes, he's out there. Like she screams, she just screams it to me. He's out there. Ooh, the deer, he's out there. He's somewhere behind you. Like she's not saying this like you've scared the deer away or anything. Cause I looked before I went out, but it's more along the lines of why are you in the yard? Don't you know there's a deer out there? He's behind you. He's out there somewhere. It's like, I think it's fine. I don't, I don't think the deer is going to come up here and kill me. I don't know, I saw, I saw it was kind of funny though, just the way she says, he's out there. It's behind you. Who I'm talking about? A deer, it's out there. Okay. Oh good, the gobos are back. Oh. Second Gabo. And a confused baby llama. Why is there a baby llama outside? By the way, I have an animal stockpile. Did we get that artifact cage? Hell yeah, we did. This is a water buffalo bone cage. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality is encrusted with briolet cut yellow sesvertines and encircled with bands of sheep hoof. The object is adorned with hanging rings of petrified wood. And the item is an image of a radiant cut gem and colacanth bone. Remember, that's the cage the Baroness brought onto our map when she stood around. Look at my cage. You should let me in because I got a cage. I'm going to talk to your manager. By the way, we have 28 units without bedrooms now. Because I don't have a new bedroom. This is why I like do hard limits whenever I do these new bases. They give you way too many doors way too fast. All right. What is the noise that pisses that pisses off dwarves? It's only certain jobs. Neither walls will insulate them. Do a sleeping dwarves room unit will not cause. 
Noise produced from the noise job is completed, but thoughts about noise do not appear until the sleeping dwarf is woken up. Also, dwarves walking through even will not cause noise, which is important for bedroom design. Workshops do not currently produce noise. What produces noise? Digging, wood cutting, engraving, fortification, and removing constructions. Eight tiles. Okay. I gotta make sure I'm more than eight tiles away from everything with these jackasses. If I go over here, that's eight tiles away. Here's your fucking beds. Uh, how was I doing this? As a massive individual dormitory, wasn't I? That is right. One, two. We'll do seven to a side, which means it's eight, which means it's 16 by 16. I do this as a bedroom. If I do this as individual one by ones, then what? No, they have to be three by threes because I want to get them to have extra furniture. So this is not divisible by three. So I did eight, no, eight, did I do 18? 18 would be divisible by three as a six. I did 16. Yeah, no, we're going to do 18 by 18. So it's divisible by three. And that means it'd be one, be six by six, 36. There's only 36 beds. How many idiots do we have? 48. This is only 30. Fuck me. All right, this is off the central thing. Why am I so far up? Let's say I do it there. Then I mirror that on the other side. I don't know why I went that far up. All right, that's 18 by 18. I do it on the other side. 36 becomes 72. Two massive honking dorms that are tiny ass bedrooms. Insta cage in guild hall, instant awesome guild hall. Time for me to die in glorious combat, make a public example of someone, beat them with their own limbs. Baroness Karen would like to see your manager. Uh, my mom, my mom has chickens. She has like a little farm going on. She doesn't have any roosters though. They make way too much noise. And they're, they're evil. Roosters are evil. 21 to be 49 bedrooms. I'm building my first computer, just waiting on a power supply. Nice. What specs did you go for? Him or me? Oh, I'm guessing him. 49 bedrooms or 147 bathrooms. I'll periodically hear the faint crowing of that rooster. It's been around for a few days. That's pretty good. If, it, if it's not like bothering you too much, then I mean, that's that's nice. This list my buddy made for me. <laughs> Steven. I clicked your link and it says you need access. I think you literally linked it, but we don't, I don't think we have permission for it. I'll take your word for it though. You would think though, wouldn't you just do Part Picker? Part Picker is a website that you can pick your parts to like virtually design your computer. And then you just give like a little link to Part Picker and it just list the design. But yes, if you have it uh, as a list somewhere on Google Drive, I suppose that would work if you gave permission to look at it instead of being like I got the secret right here on my phone guys wouldn't you like to know <laughs> oh that reminds me I, I, I swear to dwarf Jesus half of my computer was in a video um not my personal video uh not my personal computer Linus Tech Tips recently did a video about the greatest computer rendering, a uh, computer rendering, graphical rendering for videos computer that they had done. And it was 50% cheaper than their last computer that they did for the exact same thing. So because it was 50% cheaper, that meant it was only, that's right, $15,000. But when they don't seem to say the specs of the computer, it just, it has better times than this other computer they have. But I swear, when you look at the back of their computer on that video, that's my motherboard. 
and you look inside it it's like that's my motherboard i think i know the i think they're like two steps up from my processor and then the only difference is because they just crammed in like four honking nvidia graphics cards oh and of course they had a much better case like it wasn't a case designed by crazy people it was like a server a server case with like crazy fans and shit but yeah i saw that i saw that video and i was like gromler is dead why is gromler dead was gromler in a fight the elf hater the elf hater attacked you who the fuck is the elf hater well there goes gromler why are your forts always cursed i don't know it wasn't a shoebox. What well, wasn't a shoebox? My case is not a shoebox. It's made by someone whose brain is in a shoebox. Who is our elf hater? Who killed you, good sir? Eldrish? It's gotta be Eldrish. Dictator Bob's crazy. So Eldrish killed him. I guess Eldritch is now moody. Yeah, everyone's, we didn't get our socialization done in time. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Look at that, we're going down. People got the negative thoughts faster than they got the critical mass of positive thoughts. Here we go down to the depression trail. Nostalgia won't save us today. Do, 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 do. We're all gonna die. I'm gonna carve fortifications into this so we can start getting some mist in for even more positive thoughts uh, x57 tough gaming plus Wi-Fi AMD am4 ATX motherboard check me a second Ryzen 7 3700x Matisse I like Ryzen fucking the processors that Intel came out with recently it's like why are you doing this like they purposely nerfed their processors. It's weird. Righteous boner is now throwing a tantrum. All right, fine. Remove hyphen stress hyphen all. I try to do this the nice way. By the way, this is why remove stress doesn't work anymore. If they have a critical mass of negative thoughts, they can never stay happy. So anyone who is negative, they're gonna just go negative again. It's just buying me time. Uh, two rip jaws. Hold on. Um, box processor with race prism cooler. Two rip jaws. 16 gigabyte CDR4 3200. Make sure. Make. I'm assuming you're making this yourself. Uh, make sure that it actually is going to be 3200. By default. The RAM does what, 2660 or something like that? You have to tweak your BIOS to get it to work at 3200. For some reason, they de they're like, oh, well, the motherboard's like, oh, it's only rated directly for this. That's the highest ooh, legit limit. So we're not allowed to, you, you have to set it yourself higher for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Dual channel desktop memory kit, black radio on RX. 5700 XT Pulse Overclock Dual Fan 8 Gigabyte EDR PCI Express 4.0 Graphics Card 1 Terabyte SSD 3D NAND M2 Drive Hold on 1 Terabyte NAND Drive on an M2 plugin Gotcha PCI Express NVMe on X4 and chat made it go away because in OBS I can't scroll the chat up it always scrolls back down Dual 5 Chamber Glass ATX Computer Glaze 1 Terabyte Intel Kick Time to start publicly executing people waiting for my laptop finally shipped. The first order got canceled. The second order is still on unshipped. Imagine buying Intel in 2020. People, you gotta set up your own XMP profile. That's what I'm talking about. The main reason to nerf a processor is to improve the structure. No, it, they, they, they did weird. It, like, Intel... It wasn't even to improve the structure. Intel nerfed a processor to below something like a generation or two ago because they have a different product that is above a certain line 
and their idea was like, well, if you wanted to be a, a uh, if you wanted to have a good processor, why wouldn't you buy our more expensive line? Why would we give you a cheaper processor that does good? Mind you, the expensive processor did better than the cheaper one already, but they artificially set a limit and they're like, no, if, if you're buying a processor below this amount from us, we're not gonna let it be above a certain number. It's not, we're gonna hard limit this processor and it's not allowed to work better. You know, those are motherboards, something stupid, something stupid involving the processor and they're hard limiting the speed unless you pay a little bit extra for their other processor that is above this mark, but it was already above the mark to begin with like something stupid. It was a while ago that I saw the video, like three days. It was fucking stupid. I was like, all right, guess just never buy from Intel. It was the most nonsensically greedy thing I'd ever heard. Made no sense. chest I mean it was so goofy and stupid whatever ex like exactly how it went down I think the closest metaphor would be admittedly this is fucking j just bear with me this, this, is a, this is a really stretched metaphor it's hard to imagine it would never happen but it would be like if Blizzard found a way to re-release Warcraft 3 and in doing so, not only made a worse product, but went back in time and made your Warcraft 3 worse. So that if you still had their original Warcraft 3, now it's nerfed. It'd be like if Blizzard did that, which I, we all know could never happen. I mean, how would you nerf a game 20 years after it was made, you know, making it weaker? It'd be, it'd be asinine, really. Seriously though, it's just fucking stupid. Like, I forget exactly wh what it was, but like they artificially nerfed a processor that had been, like this product line was above a certain point and then they released it like this and then they're like, oh, BT dubs, nope. And they nerfed it down. How do you nerf down hardware? Fucking something asinine like that. Probably production cost related. It, no. It's not, it's like just hard coded in. I'll, tr I'll try to track it down if I can after the stream. It might be a day or two and I'll post it to the, I'll post it to Discord, the thing I'm talking about. What they did makes no fucking sense. There were like three channels I saw that all address the same topic. One of them was Linus Tech Tips. Um, they, they just made it weak. Why did I dig out this over here? Jewelry. I think. Were you for jewelry? Build workshop jewelers. Jewelers. Well, if you weren't before, you are now. No, no, this is like a recent, recent product. I can't remember if it was a motherboard design of theirs or if it was a processor. I think if it was the motherboard, I want to say it was a motherboard, but that makes less sense to me. But I really want to say that's what they did. Like they released something to work with their processors. Like their processor nerfs itself in the wrong motherboard. But the motherboard has already been released and the motherboard previously, like that type of motherboard with the, with the same fucking production, fucking handled a higher rating. I, like I said, I would have to remember, I don't remember the specifics. Don't quote me on any of this. I do not remember the specifics at all. It was from like three days ago. I'll find the video, I'll put it on the Discord. You might be able to Google it yourself. As a matter of fact, I can probably just Google it my, my, right, right here. Why wait? Why wait? Fucking... I was gonna say Linus Tech Tips Intel. Not the one from eight months ago. Videos. Their video called this Intel want people to hate them from one week ago.
There you go. Like I said, it, it doesn't, it's, assuming that's the video I think it is, I didn't put too much time trying to research if I could find my original thing. It doesn't make sense. It makes what some would say the no sense. Scientifically speaking, of course, it makes the no sense. I'm so bad at Hearts of Iron, I just moved my army from the Magic over to the Finn, the coast. <laughs> yes. Wait, the coast? Are you Germany? Did you move your, your troops from Germany to the coast? I mean, that kind of might help on your side. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I believe that. My power supplies are the same way. I purposely go over on my power supplies. Way the fuck over. No, oh, because the French just walked in. Oh, you mean you pulled like all your dudes? Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Um, power supplies have an efficiency rating. Like where the power they're pulling in compared to like the, I'm starting to get tired. I purposely pull in an X, I purposely buy for my computers whenever I make them an unnecessarily extra beefy processor. Not as expensive as possible, but an unnecessarily extra beefy processor so that I can get the average power draw I suspect I'm going to be using down more towards where that processor has its highest efficiency rating. That way the processor lasts longer and has less issues. Yes, that makes sense. Intel just wants to do Microsoft too. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about the clock speed thing from a few years back. This is dumb. Yeah, it's some weird new thing. I, like I said, I can't remember the details right now but they artificially nerfed either a motherboard or a processor to not work right if you don't pay for their upper end product or something weird and goofy. It's unnecessarily stupid because the shit says it's rated. It's like something, it's like saying like this is compatible, but if you don't read the fine print, you don't realize that it's only in compatibility mode so that it nerfs itself. It's something weird. But beforehand, the last version of the exact same product was completely compatible. And they were asked about it and their answer was, well, if you wanted that, then you would have to use our fucking hobbyist line, which is the more expensive one. But neither of these two products had changed or something like that. Like just artificially changing, like doing nothing is weird. This is weird, doesn't make sense. I don't know why you'd retroactively go backwards to screw over uh, your people. How do you charge a subscription for heated seats? One, I would never pay that. I don't like heated seats. I really don't. It, I, I, whenever I get in someone's car and they don't warn me about the heated seats, I get annoyed because I sit down and immediately in like 0.5 seconds, I feel like I'm being cooked and, I, and I'm immediately going into ball soup territory. I do not understand why people like heated seats. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. It makes me super uncomfortable. I feel like if you have turned on your heated seat for my chair, especially if you haven't told me, what you're telling me is secretly you're a cannibal and you're trying to get me to marinate in my own juices for a bit before you kill me because I cannot think of another reason for heated seats. Now I get the idea at like super low setting, maybe I'm in the Northeast. If your car is super fucking cold, you want to turn on heated seats while waiting during the warm-up period to assist the car heat up? Fine, maybe, but in no reason when the car is in fully operational driving mode when you're going down the street, do I see the reason for a heated seat? A heated seat for the five minutes you're pre-warming your car? Maybe. After that, turn that motherfucker off. Stop cooking my asshole. I like my asshole to be uncooked. Doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, Virtual reality press conference, several features. Uh, uh, some of the features feel like like how an iPhone can be used to have a key fob. Yeah, great, great, fantastic. That's not going to be bad. BMWs can warn each other about hazards ahead. But what has garnered most attention is a complex new subscription model. Subscription for a car. This is that right there. I know why they're doing that. It's not even for the heated seats. They've been losing the right to repair hearings. A lot of the car companies and the computer companies have been losing in the right to repair hearings. And you are allowed to repair your own shit. You don't have to do their crap. 
they keep appealing it so nothing's really been done yay america but they've been they've been looking real bad in the right to repair hearings i'm willing to bet some part of that is that they have a subscription model they get to do tiny ass fucking nonsensical updates and because of that they can make sure the software uh, they can try to tie it into a, a legit safety concern not legit but they can claim it's a legit safety concern and if you do anything involving hardware connected to that software uh then they'll say that you changing the hardware introduces a possibility for their software to be hacked or go making it a a less safe environment on the road and the more things they tie it into the more things they get to say you can't touch if they can tie it into something as stupid as a heated seat then they could try to tie it into other things such as windows and other stupid nonsense i'm willing to bet the heated i'm willing to bet that's what it is not money as as goofy as that sounds i mean money would be a lovely side to them but i'm willing to bet they're trying to do a subscription model for something stupid like heated seats and that's what they're doing so that they can claim that they have a that they are doing software updates and you changing the hardware means that the software is more prone to having issues and thus makes your driving experience less safe so that, that way they can make it illegal for you to do that they already have similar things for doing this by the way we're saving they already have similar things for doing this where it is illegal in quite a few states for you to do aftermarket modifications to your lights i think like in california i think you are not allowed to change out your headlights if the manufacturer or dealer has not done it so a lot of people have gotten in trouble for things the manufacturer did this is why i know about this is because i've seen quite a few videos where police have pulled over someone for having yellow headlights but it was a manufacturer or the dealer who did so and they are not the normal yellow so cops have pulled over people erroneously claiming that they did the modification illegally when they didn't do so so that type of news ends up on the news oh look at these cops overstepping their bounds but really it's just because one it's a stupid rule to begin with and I agree, the cops are overstepping their bounds. If the guy's got a yellow light and the light is legal, leave him alone. You have no real way other than, I mean, they pull out paperwork, but you as a cop have no way to prove that it wasn't manufacturer. And you had the burden of doubt anyways. You have to prove it. So I don't know why you would press, why we try to do that, but they do. But my point being is they've already tried similar things in cars. There are already similar laws going through the dead walk. I'm not over talking. The dead walk. Hide while you still can. <laughs> I can't set the burrow yet because if I set the burrow. Fuck, I never even did the refuse area. I didn't think this through. I didn't think it through. I fucked it up. It's all gone wrong. And now I'll have to pay because I didn't think it through. The voice mod is still on, isn't it? Fantastic. Let's turn that off so this sounds normal. <laughs> it's absurd. I'm sorry you can't roll down your windows on a basic plan. You need a silver subscription. This is why I dislike computer run cars. Game saving, you should do push ups. I've gone through them all. I've done my push ups. ACAB. Uh, well, that also caused problems where they can end up being caught red-handed and taxed for millions upon billions of dollars. Who? What? Not quite sure what you're saying, but all right. I'm willing to believe because I, I spoke a lot before I look back at chat. That's on me. I'm a horrible, unprofessional asshole. I should just quit this whole Twitch thing. I show no consideration for any of my viewers. Bye, everyone. No, um, over talking isn't a thing on Twitch. I don't know what that means. Did I say something about over talking? What are you talking about? Uh, also possibility of them ending up like TikTok. Oh God, the necromancer has returned with their undead again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Get lost. You damn dirty self-obsessed nerd. I mean, like, you talk a lot, but that makes the stream fun. <laughs> Good. Good. It's just... What was this for? Oh, shit! The fucking farming guild. I forgot all about them. Is that petition still active? Oh, they're not going to be happy. 
I 100% did not follow that. And I never set up a system to where I could try to block out the vision. Oh no. And so if they fall down the waterfall, my people are gonna panic and be bitching. Oh, I saw an undead thing and it made me sad. And when I got sad, I peed everywhere. It's gonna be something stupid like that. All right, military alert, GTFI, one. Two. I need to set this up like this. This is a meeting area assigned to a new location that is a craft guild hall that is a farmer's guild hall. Did I pass farmer? Mine, wood, car, bow, wood, stone, grave, mace, range, and, and, hunt, trap, and, met, fern, wep, arm, black, metal, jewel, gym, gym, craft, jeweler, hall, gym, cutter, gym, setter. Why would you have separate halls? Craft, wood, stone, leather, bone, weave, cloth. No farming. Glass, pot, glass, wax, strand, fish, 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 farm. A guild of larks. Agreed to build guild hall. Need 2,000 dwarf buck. It's already worth 8,000. So I think engravings would work. Get to engraving. Do it. Hopefully that works, because I don't know what to do otherwise. Not in the short amount of time I think I have. Ooh! We're invaded. That's right. I should go back and pay attention to the invasion. Um... Is everyone in? I'm gonna assume everyone's in and just do that. Is there anyone not in? You had a mood? Who had a mood? Is now the time to have a mood? Well, hopefully they just put him down and I don't have to deal with anything. Because if I order the military to do it, they'll be sad. All right. The hunter was calmed down, was struck down. I think he was one that had the mood. Yeah, interrupted by hunter. Hunter's gone berserk. All right, good. Uh, I need to open up the other program so I can go back and look at the other things. You can run cars, a cab, talk a lot about the extreme. If you didn't talk too much, you wouldn't have quotes like this. You are all monsters. I don't think someone typed that quote in right. I don't know what the hell that. You are all monsters. I think someone typed it in wrong. Is there a way to edit the quotes to fix them? Stop biting me, little banana lizard assholes. Or are. <laughs> it's like here in New Zealand with the upcoming weed referendum. One of the things that. As if it goes through that there is nothing that they're going to attempt. Wait, hold on. One of the things that if it goes through is that they are going to attempt to control the potency. They're never going to be able to control that as there's no real way to moderate it. A stray buffalo calf. Oh, goody. Goody. I love that they get to attack at range. Why do they get to attack at range? Why are all my animals so far out of the way? Uh, no, really. Or a bunch of undead animals going to chill on the surface forever. Well, you can control the potency of alcohol. You can probably measure the THC in the same way. However, to Chulu, I think the purpose, the point he's talking about is the potency of THC would be a genetic factor. It would take far longer than would be reasonable to try to actively moderate the THC, particularly if it's only coming from the government. If they legalize it, then everyone's growing their own. If, say, they tested you, your weed, and your weed has too much THC in it, how can I hold you responsible? The weed genetically just happened to have more in it. I think that's what he's referencing. Alcohol is alcoholic content by volume. Very, very dumb way of saying this. If there's too much alcoholic content, you can just water it. You can't water a plant. You can water a plant. You cannot water down a plant. You can't water down a plant genetics. You'd have to purposely be breeding it to be low. And at that point, you'd probably need like major government things and you can only use the government 
supplied plants? It just sounds weird. But you can, in fact, water a plant. Uh, install the cage in it. That's right. Oh, wait, I thought I was going to install it in the other one. They're engraving. How does that look now with the engravings? Way high enough. Does it say thank you for doing this for us? The guild hall agreement with the guild of larks has been satisfied. Damn straight it has. There you go. I gave you an empty room with a ton of fucking pictures. Leave me alone. Um, what a 66. Eldritch has been timed out. Hey, uh, get wrecked. Hey, Sanctum. Someone else was found dead. Oh, no. No, those are just animals. I don't know why, but a bunch of animals were just outside for no reason, just hanging out. Hanging out. Someone else found dead. Oh, no, the cave is clear. This means my dwarf is doomed. Chulu, if it goes through, each person can have up to two plants, a maximum of four per residence. Uh, okay, so we need big plants. Beer is on ice, and that's all over. Sanctum Spirit Sun. Welcome to the stream, Sanctum. But yeah, no, it's so I don't know how you would dare or not dare, but they don't understand the system. I, I'm sorry. There, there's like every now and then you hear about some goofy regulation and you just have to ask yourself, do they know? Do they genuinely know how this works? I don't think they understand genetics. If they're like, oh, we're going to regulate the potency. Are you, though? Are you, though? I don't think so. That doesn't make any sense. Um, drinks are up, not high, but they are up. Did I? Do we lose our our manager again? Oh no, because I remember the order is low. J M, the order here on the condition of its product is fifty. Get rid of you. I didn't mean to put you in there. I want to up this number now to 90. The same one for this one. Uh, it's, the condition is less than 90. Now we can start bringing that up. I need to grow something else here, though, is the issue. I need, I need a plant that does clothing. Otherwise, my doors are going to soon be naked, and they'll get negative thoughts for being naked, and that will drive them down a pit of despair faster than anything else. I'm about to sneeze again. <laughs> Shut up! It attacked me. The weird noise goblin attacked me. <laughs> All right. Um, we got most of the jewels in there. The stones are in there. They got their thing. Where was I doing the beds? There. There is where I was doing the beds. This all needs to be smooth. Like a rather large amount of this needs to be smooth and then engraved and we start cramming furniture in here. The beer is on ice, nuts are all over. It's a good thing if it does go through this, we'll stop all the fake weed consumption which has actually killed people. Legislators not knowing what the fuck they're legislating about. <laughs> More or less. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Why does Nightbot still exist? How does Facebook make money? It sells your data. Also, if that passes, New Zealand is going to have a lot of weed shops everywhere. Source, I live in Seattle. Um, isn't nudist colony of dwarves? Isn't New Zealand also the Shire? Makes sense. Everyone's smoking the old Tom. Where did the Facebook question come from? I'll tell you exactly how Facebook makes money. And, and I, I mean, everyone knows, but I don't think you know. Genuine, genuine experiment. All right. If you didn't know you can do this, I'm telling you right now. If you, I don't do Facebook, but I had a Facebook from way back when, like when I was in high school. However, comma, I mean, if you don't do Facebook, go back on again. I don't, I don't care when the last time you were on it. I don't care if you made it once for a school project. Get back on it. Don't say anything. Don't do normal Facebook things. But in the settings of Facebook, because of wherever their charter is and how they're allowed to operate, you are freely able to download a file of everything Facebook knows about you. I'm willing to bet you're going to be angry, particularly if you, oh, I don't use Facebook. I've never used Facebook. I only created an account once. I've never touched Facebook at all. Facebook has a file on you because of everything everyone around you has done. 
So if your mother has Facebook and she says, oh, well, my little my little son, Timmy Two Tones, you know, he has he's he just loves his dogs. If you were to go on Facebook and download it, if you don't have an account, it'd probably take a bit from the sync the information to you. So I'll give you that. If you create an account, you're going to download an empty file. But particularly if you've not used it in forever, they've already attributed you to that file. They have information on you. They know a lot more about you than you think they do. It's fucking goofy. Um, I'm seeing that we've hit the hour mark. So for those of you who are going to be watching the archive after the fact on YouTube, uh, catch you guys next time.